Hello guys and welcome to the tutorial on how to install IW4X on the PC of the month of June. This is June Thursday the 11th 2020 and I'm going to be showing you how to install the modded client base of Modern Warfare 2 which is called IW4X. So today, let's get straight, straight into it and we are going to go in and just type in IW4X which is the official website and the client of Modern Warfare 2 that everyone uses and is extremely popular. So we're going to click onto IW4X and you should be come up with this website. So before we just do get into the video guys, if you do have any frequently asked questions, say if you're clicking onto this video for a resolution, just pop it down into the uh, comments there below or if there's anything in the description there for you guys, just let me know and I will answer them straight away as my notifications will come up straight away and I'm more than happy to help you guys out. So we're going to go into, we're going to click get started and it's going to breach you with uh, and introduce you to this screen here which is just going to introduce you to IW4X and what the game is about and then we are, you need either if you need help with any um, FAQs or anything that, that you are stuck with such as like a loading screen or anything like that we are going to install guide and then what best describes your situation so if you already have the game, the base game on Steam let's say if you've already purchased it then you can click on this one and it can install just the CFG files and the DLC files and any other modded guns that are required in the game and if you need to update, which you will be notified if you need to update via the Discord, all links will be put in the description below for you guys. Just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see all the links there for you, such as this website, and just, just such as any uh, Discord service for IW4X, just if you guys have any problems. There is about 45,000 people in the Discord, so if you m it may be spam, so it's best to turn your notifications off for this. So for this instance, if you guys are clicking on this video, you more than likely don't have anything at all. So you're going to click on, I don't have anything, I'm starting fresh, I require everything. So you're going to go into learn more, and you're going to be introduced to this screen, which is the all in one pack. So here you can see the direct download is 14.85 gigabytes, which includes the whole game, the base game, and all the DLC. So that's quite good, which is good. So you could even put that in your C drive and any different SSD if you want the game to run a bit faster. Or you can just stick it into your D drive like I have done because the game is already quite fast. So here you can see what the games include, so that Modern Warfare 2 base game, so you can play the base game if on its own, so you can play the campaign, multiplayer and the special ops there, or if you want to play the modded client, and then you can do that as well, but it's giving you options because you have to install the base game to be able to do that. Same with Plutonium and any other client version, vice versa. So we're going to press direct download, and then we're going to press download anyway. And then once this gets introduced for you there, you can just see there, the, the, there it's downloading there for you. I have already downloaded it, so I'm just going to pause and then cancel it. There we go, and I'm going to get rid of all of them. And then as we go through that, you should have them in your files. But the, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go into our D drive. And we are going to go into games. And I'm just going to create one called IW x dot two because I've already made this one and then you'll be breached with if you go into your downloads which will be here depends on what you have there and any of the things that you have I like to try and keep mine nice and tidy so if I go back into my D drive and go into games this will be your original Adobe 4 x so just ignore the point two it's just so I can create the same file you're going to be breached within your downloads four files here which is the MW2 the user maps, the IW4X files, and the IW4X DLC, and these are quite self-explanatory. So obviously you've got the Modern Warfare 2 base game here, and you've got the user maps, such as maps that you're already uh, in here, so that you can see all of them. You've got Raid, Hammerstone, Desert Dock. These are some modded maps that already come onto here that you can go onto the servers. That's why they're in here. And then you have the IW4X files. So if you already have the base game, you would just have to install these three. And then so we're going to click on all of these, you can either go like that, or you can just control A them, control A that will make it a lot easier, and you're going to extract all the files, and then that will take some time for you, and then you will have a big long list, I think it's approximately over 300 files or something like that, and then if, I'll just show you an example of what it looks like, so you're going to go into your uh, file where all your files are extracted, so I'm going to click on IW4X, and it should look something a little bit like that. It's not. It, it might look a bit different. Mine, mine might look a little bit different for you guys. And this is how you update the game as well. So you're going to click on this, 
and it'll tell you if you need to install, update and repair. And the repair is basically just a troubleshooting guide which will go through with you any other things that you require or any other things that aren't working. And I will give you guys some error codes that you might receive as well. So in here, I don't have this because it's already been done. There's going to be a verify slash underscore tool. This is what it would look like. It won't look like in a file. It would basically just be verify underscore tool. It won't be in that. It would be in an actual normal. It would be an application extension. I'm just going to get rid of that just so in case it doesn't corrupt any of my game files. And then we are going to go into that and then it will just basically just check through with you every single file that you have and it will tell you if it's all wrong or if it's correct. And if you have done it correctly as you have shown in my tutorial you will see that it has all been done correctly and you will be granted if you press continue it will go through with you to install a thing called Direct9x which if we go into the IW4x website I'm pretty sure it does show that. Uh, yes, Direct X Nightsy, there we go, needs to be installed and that will be how you do that through the Verify tool. So assuming you've done all of that, which you've done, so well done for getting through this far. We are, this is quite a long tutorial and all of these do look quite confusing, but a lot of these is just mods that I've had to paste. So if we go into, you have your mods file, which is in here, and obviously you've got bots and some sniper mods and things such like that. So to load up the game, we are simply, if you want to add it to your desktop, just to make it easier, you're going to click, you're going to right click, and then you are going to, um, where is it, send to, and you can send it to your desktop. Uh, sometimes it might not work when you come to it, and if, just, no, it's, if that is such the case, then you're going to have to go into your, um, through your direct file. So we are going to load up IW4X, and there we go, and this is how you should be granted. So it would tell you it has blocked some of the features of this app, yeah, and you're just going to go straight into it. And as you guys see here, you'll be breached into this loading screen. You can't skip this one unfortunately, but this is just introducing you that you have chosen the client of IW4X, which is the modern version of Modern Warfare 2. Your screen might look a little bit differently. If it does look quite pixelated, you would go into your barracks. And we're going to go into your options, and then you're going to change your stuff here. So this is 1920 by 1080. There for you guys. And then after that, you that you'll be greeted, and you have a list of servers. So you go into your favourites and other things such as that. There you go. Or the internet, and then you create a list of servers that you have. There you go, and favourites that you might have as well. So I'm just going to alt tab out of that. I'm not sure why it says I'm 10 prestige. I'm actually level 49. I'm just doing a race with my friend, friend there. So as you go guys, that is all of it shown. I'll give you links to such as Discord and any other things left. If you guys have any more questions, please feel free to add so do so in the comments. Thank you very much guys and have a good day.